a new baby in the house. This is a character building story about gentleness. And one thing we learn about gentleness is it's treating people, animals, and things in a careful way. On a cool fall day, when the trees were showing off their red and yellow leaves, Stevie and Nancy invited a guest to their house. Her name was Kim, and she was new at their school. Kim's family had just moved to their town from another country. Kim smiled shyly when she came to the door. The children invited her in, and soon the three were in the middle of a game of tag. Stevie and Nancy shouted louder and louder. They ran faster and faster. But they didn't notice that Kim had gotten quieter and quieter. Suddenly, Stevie came up behind Kim and said, Boo! Nancy started to laugh, but to her surprise, Kim started crying and ran out the door. The children walked back to the kitchen to talk to their mother. She, of course, had heard everything. I don't understand, said Stevie. Why did she start crying? What did we do wrong? His mother told the two to sit down. I think you both have a lesson to learn. Let me tell you a story about a little girl I know who learned it. And this is the story she told them. Once there was a little girl who lived all alone in a big house with her mother and father. She had dolls and games to play with and a big tree in the yard to climb. But she sometimes wished she had a brother or sister in the house too. One day this little girl's mother told her that she would have a brother or sister soon. The mother was going to have a baby. The little girl was very excited. Then her mother went to the hospital and came back with a tiny bundle wrapped in a blanket. A baby sister. Somehow, the little girl wasn't so excited anymore. All the baby seemed to do was cry. Her mother and father paid lots of attention to the baby. She wanted to play with the baby, but the baby didn't know how to play. One day, the little girl was holding the baby for her mother while the mother cooked supper. The baby just lay there asleep. The little girl watched for a while, then she got bored. She decided to bounce up and down in the chair. She bounced harder and harder, and all of a sudden, on one hard bounce, she dropped the baby. The baby started to cry. Her mother ran in from the kitchen. The little girl was in trouble. Happily, the baby sister was not hurt, but the little girl's parents decided to have a talk with her. What would you do if I gave you a china plate to carry into the dining room, her mother asked. I would hold it very carefully, said the little girl. What would you do if a butterfly landed on your arm out in the yard, asked her father. I would walk very slowly so that I could show it to you before it flew away, said the little girl. You're right, said the father. Being slow and careful is the same as being gentle. You need to be gentle with some things. The mother got the baby and brought it into the room. Sometimes babies, and bigger people too, are like my china plates, the mother explained. They get hurt easily. Or they get scared, like the butterfly, her father added. You need to treat these people with gentleness because you love them. I understand now, said the little girl. Can I hold my baby sister again? I'll be gentle. The mother handed over the baby, and the little girl sang her this song. After the parents heard the song, they knew that she really did understand. If you could have heard her, she would have sounded like this.
Stevie and Nancy sat quietly a minute after their mother finished the story. So you think that we scared Kim? Nancy finally asked. Maybe you did, her mother said. You need to be gentle with Kim. She's in a new country, learning a new language and making new friends. She needs special care and love. Oh, we'll be gentle, the children promised together. That song will help me remember, Stevie added. I like it. By the way, Mother, what was the name of the little girl? You never told us. Yes, who was it? Nancy asked. Their mother smiled. Why, it's someone you know very well. That little girl was me. The children looked at each other with surprise. Yes, children, their mother laughed. Your parents have had to learn some lessons, too. We all learn new things every day. I just never thought about you ever being a little girl, said Nancy. It's kind of funny. Know what I think is funny? Stevie asked. I'm trying to think of Nancy being a mother someday. Oh, you silly! Nancy started to chase Stevie. Together they ran laughing out of the house. Responsibility. Uh. 